I talked about test-driven development last time and it's the same process that I've gone through to make the playback stuff as well. So to make sure that the rendering was working perfectly, I devised a series of tests which take a whole bunch of different layers and put them together and then the test will perform the render and then look through sample by sample to make sure that everything matches exactly what's expected. So one of the tests involved taking four separate layers and then splitting them up into four little subregions. So the first layer gets the first quarter, the second layer gets its second quarter, and the third and the fourth. So it actually lays them out across the timeline of the track in four sections. And then it runs that through and makes sure that it sounds right. It sounds like this. That sort of mimics the workflow that I had in mind for comping, which is where you set the recorder running in a loop over and over, and you just keep on performing the same loop until you get the perfect performance. Uh, this would allow you to then take each of those different cuts and then choose the bits from each one that you like. And I mocked that up really early on um, in the blog. Another test is similar, but rather than taking an offset into each layer, it actually moves each layer forward by a quarter each time. So the first layer plays its first quarter at the beginning, the second layer plays its first quarter immediately after that in the second quarter of the track and so on. And that sounds like this. The third test involves taking the first quarter of two separate layers and repeating that quarter twice like this. That means it's actually doing a uh, transition across the loop boundary. So this is basically allowing you to take a full recording and then make a loop out of it at any point. Remember, you can actually import tracks into Loopy as well. So this is a nice way to take any piece of audio and make a loop out of it. And Loopy will automatically do the crossfading at the boundaries and make it sound right. The fourth test takes four full length layers and just mixes them together. Uh, pretty much like a loop with three overdubs. Sounds like this. It sounds super loud and clipped because I'm doing a 16-bit export just because it was easy. Uh, Loopy itself is recording in floating point, 32-bit uh, format, and it doesn't bother normalizing until the very end of the process. So you have a lot of headroom to play with, which is kind of nice. So all of this works on files at an arbitrary sample rate. It includes really high quality sample rate conversion. So Loopy itself will run at whatever sample rate your hardware can manage. So it could be, you know, 44.1K, 48K, 96, whatever the hardware can manage. And it'll either upsample or downsample the audio to that sample rate when it's playing back. So you can take audio from any source, including stuff that's been recorded at a really high sample rate and play it back alongside tracks that have been recorded at different sample rates and it'll all just mix together and it'll just work. I'm also going to have a really good time stretching system, but I'm still solving that problem.